welcome you all for the raw online teaching program i am dr monica your pediatric faculty today's uh, session is going to be on the standard treatment guidelines provided by the indian academy of pediatrics we are in that series we are going to see about the henox conlin purpura that is hsp this henox conlin purpura is the most common vasculitis in the childhood so it is a most common vasculitis of the childhood mainly it involves the small blood vessels involves the smaller blood vessels and two important histopathological finding that is seen in the hsp are leukocytoclastic vasculitis and immunoglobulin a deposition this immunoglobulin a deposition is mainly in involving the small blood vessels of uh, skin joints gi tract and kidneys so this is a hallmark of the disease so it is a most common vasculitis involving the small blood vessels of leukocyte characterized by the leukocytoclastic vasculitis and immunoglobulin a deposition so according to the according to the 2012 international chapter hill consensus conference this hsp hnox conlin purpura is also called as the started called as immunoglobulin a vasculitis okay so it is called as a immunoglobulin a vasculitis so if you see 90% of the children the common age group is between 3 to 10 years and slightly there is a male preponderance that is males are commonly more commonly affected compared to females and generally uh, this hsp nephritis you will be able to uh, seen more commonly in the winter and spring seasons and rarely in summer seasons and usually you will be having a, a documented uri before the nephritis that is before hsp you will be having a documented uri 90% between the age group of 3 to 10 years slightly male preponderance and more common in winter and spring this is regarding the epidemiology of uh, the henox conlin purpura so moving on to the pathogenesis so as i already mentioned there should be some uh, documented uri prior to the uh, form uh, development of hsp vasculitis so that infectious triggers are group a beta hemolytic streptococcus staphylococcus aureus sometimes mycoplasma and adenovirus have been suspected and what happens the deposition of immunoglobulin a specifically immunoglobulin a1 that suggests the hsp is a disease mediated by the immunoglobulin a and immunoglobulin a immune complexes that's why the name comes as immunoglobulin a vasculitis okay so next is the hsp generally it occurs in clusters in family suggesting a genetic component is there in the underlying etiology and in particularly in hsp nephritis hla b34 and hla drb 101 alleles have been linked these two hla genes have been linked with hsp nephritis uh, this they may be asking in a uh, like uh, true or false statement or in some potential mcqs uh, they may be asking this so patients with familial mediterranean fever or any hereditary periodic fever syndromes complement deficiencies and these three persons are at increased risk of developing hsp so this suggests that there is a genetically determined immune dysregulation that contributes to the development of this small vessel vasculitis so these are all the pathogenesis behind the 